Today I'm going to show you how to remove the anti-shutter valve on your TDI BEW style motor. First, you want to start with removing the engine cover just to uh, allow some more room while removing the valve. Now take a hand on each side he here and here and simply pull up on your engine cover about this far and then straight back. Now I've actually already unclipped the two front spots here. As you can see they go right there and there. And on the back side there's actually a slot here that goes into this rubber right there. Yeah, as you can see I've already removed this hose right here. Now the way it clips in here is it actually slides on this plastic tube and clips into the anti-shutter valve right here. As you can see there's two little spots that actually stick out on the steel here to hold it in place. Now to remove that what you want to do is you want to just pull the pipe back and uh, you're going to want to jiggle it back and forth so it can come out of these clips. As you can see there's just it's just a uh, spring-loaded clip right there. Now for this clip right here that actually holds the back side on, what you want to do is you want to take a pair of channel locks and simply squish this end here and this end here together and separate it and then pull it back towards this way so it actually slides off the hose. Then after you can twist the hose and slowly slide it off. Now in order to pull the anti-shutter valve off, there is three Allen head bolts. So one is located there, there, and one on the back side here. As you can see, I left the Allen wrench in there just to give you an idea where it is. It's a little bit of playing and feeling around to actually get to that. Now you can actually leave the wiring harness to the end while you have the uh, anti-shutter valve unbolted from the, uh, from the intake. It's actually a lot easier to remove it that way and you're able to squish the uh, Allen head wrench around it. As you can see in there it has it does have a little clip and what you want the clip to do is you want it to push upward so it actually pops off on that tab right there. As you can see how it is on the back side here so you just simply pull back on it there which actually pulls it up. Now as for all the Allen head bolts that hold it in, they're all the same size so you don't have to worry about mixing them up or anything like that. And I'll just give you a closer look here so you can see what the valve itself looks like. Now as I mentioned earlier, there's where the one Allen head uh, bolt goes, which you have to do a little bit of playing around to actually get it in there and feel around. And there you have it, it is off.